Benjamin N. Cardozo was born in 1870 to a New York upper-class Sephardic Jewish family whose name already was known in legal circles as his father was a New York Supreme Court judge. At 15 years old, Cardozo entered Columbia University where he earned a BA, an MA in political science, and then entered law school. After passing the bar in 1891, Cardozo became a democratic jurist and practiced appellate law from his father's law firm, where he grew to be one of the most respected and sought-after attorneys of his time. The quality and manner of his work quickly brought him to the New York Supreme Court of Appeals, where he held a temporary seat for four years, then sat for 14 years as Chief Justice. Unexpectedly, within the racially divided and anti-Semitic society of the 30s, Republican Herbert, Herbert Hoover, Hoover elected him to the Supreme Court. Cardozo was voted in unanimously and many made concessions to ensure his seat. He was only the second Jewish man serving on the nation's highest court. Cardozo backed Roosevelt's New Deal, drawn especially to social security programs it introduced, and the shape of America's common law and criminal law owes a great deal to Cardozo's influence. This Supreme Court seat allowed him to align the law with the societal changes brought by the Industrial Revolution. Known by giants such as Roscoe Pound as one of the greatest legal minds in America, respected and sought after for his progressive ideology, kindness, and an integrity informed by roots in agnostic Jewish traditionalism, he was written about with, it, with affection, as a cultured gentleman, and remembered as a powerful orator. His publications, revolutionary during the era, were and remain standards of legal education and influence. He co-founded the American Law Institute and his legacy continues in the Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law, a progressive school dedicated, as he was, to ensuring legal tradition in dynamic and contemporary settings. In his own words, freedom of expression is the matrix, the indispensable condition of nearly every other form of freedom. Benjamin Cardozo.